you know, you're starting here with the North South football classic. Um, we have a few guys down there from the Eastern Panhandle, a few guys from Spring Mills as well. Uh, just uh, what are you seeing from, or what are you, I guess, anticipating about this? This starts next week. Uh, so what are you kind of anticipating about coaching this, and how did this come about that you got this opportunity? Well, first of all, when they kind of approached me with the whole thing, I, I honestly thought it was it was kind of surreal because you think about all the uh, coaches that have reached out and coached this game here, and it's been, it's been some of the top of the best of the best. So when they first reached out, it was kind of one of those things I didn't realize what it, what the opportunity was and kind of like almost second-guessed myself on the whole deal. But once I kind of realized, yo, you might want to jump on this, it was kind of one of those things where, wow, this, this is an excellent opportunity not just to coach some of the best players in the state, but also get the chance to network with some different coaches as well. Um, and then kind of looking at this opportunity, it was almost a little bit more than what I kind of expected because – as the head coach, you you really have to complete control of everything. So you get all these emails of uh, different schools that want to kind of nominate their guys, and then you kind of like kind of cipher through, and, and you want to pick guys that will that'll fit the schemes that you get, that we're looking to do offensively and defensively. And when it comes down to we we definitely want to take some of the, the better players that we can that are uh, fortunate enough that want to play in the game. Um, but yeah, it was just it was months of just kind of working on the roster and then. Um, obviously, when we get down there, just meeting the players and, and you know, taking that first day, getting to know each other a little bit, and we'll actually jump into that first practice as soon as we get down there on Sunday. So, looking forward to the opportunity. Coach Law, congratulations on the honor. It will be you as well as uh, Buddy Hessen will be a part of your coaching staff also one of your coaches at Spring Mills. Just talk about how much it means to your program also uh, having him get to coach down alongside you at the North-South Classic. Oh, coach has to mean everything to the program. Uh, I think just having him on board and I mean, also his experience and what he, what uh, state championship he's been through. He's been there to bring a little bit of that DNA over to us and, and kind of get us to push us to a level where, where we kind of are uh, today. Um, Again, for me, as soon as I got the job opportunity, it was a no-brainer. Uh, he, was, he was part of one of the first guys I called. I wanted to make sure he was willing to do it with me because um, I mean, I've been a lot on him uh, throughout the season and stuff. And it's, again, just this experience of different stuff. Um, but, yeah, he means a lot. Coach, you have three of your own players uh, on the roster uh, here, Zach Bender, Alex Eaton, Anthony Williams. Uh, can you just talk a little bit about those guys and what you saw from them last season uh, for them that, you know, obviously they're very deserving uh, of these spots. What did you see from them specifically for, for them to have made the roster here? Uh, well, Alex, for us, he was that one guy I'm offensive and defensively. Um, I thought he took a, a great stride on both sides of the ball. Um, we're hoping to use him more offensively down in the game. Um, he was a kid that was a, just a one-cut kind of back. And he, he really we saw that he um, the work that he put in the weight room, he was able to get those extra yards after that first hit. And when things got a little bit tough for us throughout the season, he was one that kind of sparked things up. And even when we go back to our last game, he was one that was absolutely fighting to the last, last uh, minute on the clock there. Uh, Zach Banner, he's another one that I've kind of watched as as a freshman, him come to the program, and each year he just gets better and better and better. And it almost seems like defensively he was just a little nuisance to everyone on defense, and you know people want to kind of go that way. But, I mean, all things, he held his own in the passing game and the run game. And Anthony's a kid that we've always had high hopes on, uh, very athletic. Uh, he's a kid that we had hoped to move into the interior part of the offense, but obviously it means that we need it. He played right tackle for us, and he's one in a, in a perfect world we would have had maybe to almost put the ball in his hand a little bit, like catch the ball a little bit. Super athletic kid, and he was just a great person himself. And Coach, um you know, next week, like I said, it, it all starts. But uh, what are some things that you guys kind of have planned uh, for the kids while they're down there? I think one of the things that I'm I'm personally looking forward to is we'll, we'll get a chance to go down to the Children's Hospital down there. Um, that, that's something we did in college, and it just means the world of those kids to you know see these guys, these big players with the jerseys and stuff on, come up to the hospital and just spend time with them. You know, obviously they get to see their folks and stuff, but. It means a lot. I mean, to me personally, just to kind of go up in there and be with them. But then they've also got some fun things playing, like going to the baseball game, watching the Dirty Birds play there, and then a movie in a bowling alley. So, um, obviously, we get about two practices in there, and then they've done an excellent job of 
filling out that itinerary for the whole Wake Forest. For those that don't know what the North South Classic is, it's seniors from high school teams all around the state splitting mm -hmm. up between the North and the South of the state, getting to go up against one another one last time. And as you kind of just touched on, you only get two practices to meet with your team and then gear up. So for you and for your coaching staff, what will you guys be doing, I guess, those two days to make sure that they are ready for the game at the end of the week? Oh, yeah. Well, we'll, we'll actually get – we'll get – I think I misspoke earlier. We'll get two practices per day, so we'll get up from okay. Sunday through Friday. Um, but throughout that time, we've kind of breaking it up because, you know, every program is a little bit different. We'll do some offensive indie, deep to indie, and also special teams just as, just as important. But then also you get to know um, our offensive system and defensive system and making it simple enough that it's enough power to get us going through what we need to. And then also with that, I mean, just even chemistry amongst the players and, you know, especially with the quarterback receivers, trying to get those guys on the same page. So that way um, they kind of got a little go-to piece to themselves there. Coach, obviously, uh, you just kind of spoke on some of the differences that you'll have to have in practices uh, to get ready for this game, with, with it being, you know, a roster of different guys put together that aren't haven't been uh, teammates before. But in terms of this being, you know, an, an exhibition uh, as well, and you know, obviously football is an incredibly physical game, how do you as a coach, how do you think you're going to approach this differently, if differently at all? Um, in terms of practice and game and in terms of how to approach this since it is this sort of exhibition instead of the regular season where you're fighting for a playoff spot and whatnot. Right. Well, I mean, for us, like, practice-wise there, uh, we do a lot of stuff, at least the spring knows. We do a lot of uppers. So very seldom we take our guys full to the ground. And, I mean, that piece alone, um, it helps uh, keep all the wear and tear, especially throughout the whole season there. Um, I mean, again, just from talking to some of the uh, players on the team and stuff, there's a lot of a lot of proud pride uh, among these guys here. They want to go in this game. They want to win. They want to um, make make the North proud of of this particular type of game here. And um, just kind of looking at things, we've seen that the North has done well the last few times. But we want to do our job to keep that streak rolling there. Now, obviously, uh, you haven't met the guys in person yet. Um, but when we had Coach Thomas on. Uh, a few years ago when he was the coach of the North, he, he talked about uh, one thing that he learned during the week was that, you know, no matter if it's a single A or a triple A, uh, you know, that doesn't really matter. The kids are all really good athletes and, and stuff like that. What are you anticipating, I guess, that you'll maybe learn this week? And, uh, and what are you already maybe learned about some of these players if you've been watching any of their film or anything like that? Yeah, well, I mean, we look at the breakdown of our roster there. I, I thought we did an excellent job of not just getting those triple A kids. We've got some double A, we've got some single A, and on, on this one here, we, I mean, we got kids that have played in um, three, a, two, a three A championship game, two A, and a single A championship game. Kids from Fairmont State and North Marion, um, obviously from Martinsburg there. So with that, each, each of their programs they bring something unique. So I think one of the things I'm interested in learning about is what they kind of bring to the table. Maybe they do something a certain way that would fit the group itself. Um, I think that'd be interesting. Um, also for me, given my background, I've kind of taught coach at the single A level. So for me, that's that part I've already kind of known, like these kids can play. Like the single A, double A stuff doesn't matter. Um, you got kids within each one of these brackets that, that can absolutely play. So super excited to get to know these guys and kind of what they kind of bring to the table to it. Also, for those that don't know, Coach, it's been a wild, almost full year for you. Originally an assistant coach for Spring Mills and then was put into the interim head coach position after a historic season for the Cardinals with the most wins, I believe, in school history. You get then promoted to being full-time head coach coming into this upcoming season and now getting to be the head coach of the North team in the north south classic just talk about uh the jersey the journey here within the year for you and how much uh truly impacted your coaching career well i mean i think the biggest thing is it has certainly been a roller coaster um i mean we've had we've been up to the very highs and the lows of, of this whole journey but i mean every day i tip my hats to the, to the coaches that, that have been there and to the system uh, to the players themselves 
I think in the situation we were at the beginning of the season, it would have been very easy for these kids to kind of say, and eh, you know, I don't know, man, just just kind of lay down. But they they ultimately rose to the challenge, and they they kind of those things wanted to go out the right way. And again, I just give those guys testament um, to to bringing it every single day in practice. Uh, for me personally, again, I, I talked a lot about um, you no know, coach has to come on board. You know, we've had various guys, Coach Adams, Coach Badalini, um, a lot of those guys coming onto this staff and just bringing that one little piece to the to the puzzle there, and then putting everything together. Uh, ultimately, the product that you saw is kind of what we got there. So, but like we've told these guys now, like that was last year. We we've, we've already kind of had to turn the page and start focus on this year because I mean that's nothing given. Um, everyone comes to a Friday night game ready to play, so we better bring our piece of the pie. And when it comes to the, the North-South Classic here, what in the end do you hope that the players that you get to coach get out of this experience? And really also, what do you hope that you get out of this experience for yourself as a coach? For the players, I, and well, for myself as well, I want this to be an experience that they will remember. Um, ultimately, when you leave high school, you leave behind a lot of buddies that, um, that you're probably never get a chance to play with. If you're fortunate enough to go to college, you'll have opportunity to create new bonds with those guys. But, I mean, I tell people all the time that that high school experience, there's nothing like that. And so for these guys to have the opportunity to suit up on those pads one last time, for me to coach with some of my guys and some of the guys I've faced throughout the season, I think that's a moment that I'm kind of looking for and I'll cherish too as well, especially getting to you know, coach some of those kids down the road that, that have uh, been very, very tough over the years. So looking forward to it. <clears throat> Coach, Coach, obviously it's uh, you know early in the off season. Don't even know how much time you've had, but I guess just what have been some things that you've been working on with Spring Mills football this year? Um, we've been trying to um, get our base offense in, just like everyone else. Uh, you know, taking these days, uh, getting the base install offensively and defensively, and working special teams. And I'd say the biggest thing for us was has been the weight room. We have tried to do a, a great job of just various different things to get kids in the weight room, motivate them some. And you can see that you go in the weight room, you'll see kids that absolutely have taken advantage of that situation. And this, the growth of them from last year this year has been something that, that really makes you excited for the upcoming year. Um, but, yeah, that's kind of what we've been with it. And the All-Star game kind of takes away a little bit. You know, we lose this week. Um, and then just also have, continuously having to work on the roster and stuff. That kind of takes away a little bit. 